hey guys, it's May May. And I did a thing. I bought a Cricut Joy. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I've told you guys a thousand times. I'm always behind the curve. But for today's video, I'm going to show you what I purchased. And then we're going to open the box together. Okay. So this is the Cricut Joy. That is what I purchased. It is basically a smaller version of the, cut, the cutting machines that Cricut offers. Except it has limited capabilities. But then again, it opens some windows that are pretty cool that you'll see. Because I'll play with that for you. Other things I bought. A lot of accoutrement. <laughs> One is this cute little carry bag. I don't know if I need it, but then I thought maybe I do need it because it's super cute. And what I'm thinking I'm really going to like about this machine is there's a possibility that I'll be able to use this at my home without uh, Wi-Fi. Let me tell you why. I have really poor Wi-Fi in my house, but this guy works on Bluetooth, possibly. I'm going to see. I'm going to see how it works. And I don't have any idea. We're going to play. So I thought this would be cool to be taking it back and forth between work and home. Here you'll see I bought some of the markers. One of the things about the Cricut Joy is you do have to have some specific products for it. It doesn't mean it's the only products you can use. You can use other products that you have. We'll talk about that as we get going. But you do need some specific things, like the markers are kind of specific. Also, I'm looking at my monitor to see what I'm pointing at. I got the regular cutting mat, which is super cool. I want to get the longer one too. I got the card mat. This is what I'm excited about. I got to be honest with you. That's what I want to play with. And then I got, this comes in two different styles. Let me show you this. So this is like, I'll put it in front of my face. This is like label writing material. And this one is paper and it's kind of craft colored. And I really kind of like that. And this is the same version and it's on a roll. Or it's not the same version, but it's writable as well, which means we can write on those with markers. A lot of you guys are like, we already know this man because you're behind the curve. For those of you who don't, that's what we're doing. I got some transfer tape as well as some vinyl. And one of the things I'm really thinking I'm going to like about this is this vinyl runs through your machine without putting it on a mat. Yep, I love that. It's made for the joy. And I also picked up, this is some of the iron-on. I picked it up in a couple different styles. I, I'm not styles necessarily, but I got some lighter colors that are not glitter. And I also got some glitter. And this is like a not glitter. I got a bunch of stuff, y'all. I got a bunch of stuff. Okay, and then <laughs> I picked up these guys, which I'm excited about. And it's probably the first actual video I'm going to do. These are the card inserts, okay? So, are these are the insert cards, I should say. Basically, you've seen all these cards being made where the fronts have these cutouts. And then there's paper showing through. And I got so many ideas for how to use our current stamp supplies and inks and things to even doll these up even more. So I think this is going to be super fun. And I had an idea this morning of how card makers are going to want to use this all the time on their desk. I'll have videos on it. So let's open this guy up. Now, full disclosure, I have already taken this out of the box, but I have not unwrapped it. Wait till you see this little guy. It is the cutest thing. It is tiny. Look at this. Even though I've seen videos on it and I've, I've seen it before, I had no idea it was this tiny, but I'm in love with it. So there is the machine itself. In the box, you get an open me envelope, which you get like with the other machines too. We'll open that together. It is very well packaged. Look in here. You see how, how nice that is? Very well packaged. And I wanted to point that out to you for a reason. If you don't want to splash out and get the carry case, if you save this box, this is a pretty good carry case in and of itself. This is sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And you have a perfect place to put your power cord in the bottom. See, can you see in there? Let me look in the monitor. So you have a place for your power cord, your marker. So if you don't want to get the carry case, save the box. All right. A power cord. A um, power cord. It's all power cord. There's nothing else. And then a marker. Super cool. So again, this box could be used. Matter of fact, just decorate this up and use it as your carry case. I know, use what you got, right? Okay, so first, let's take plastic off. I'm big about that. So here we go. This is one of the markers. And you might be thinking, why are the, why do we have to buy new markers and new this and that and the other? The thing is this, when you see how tiny the blade housing is in here, you'll realize that this couldn't work with what, what we had before. There was no way, it's much smaller. Here's my power cord, which we're gonna need to plug that in. So like I said, the only thing that can plug into your Joy is the power cord. There's no place for a USB or any other corded connectors like that. So this is your power cord. That's all there is to it. It's super simple. I'm just going to sit this out of the way for now. And we are going to open this guy. I'm excited to be opening it. It um, came sealed in this super tight plastic, this shrink wrap plastic. So I'm excited to get it out. It's like a little um, toy. It feels like a toy. It, let me take that back. It doesn't feel like a toy. 
in my mind, it's the cutest little toy, right? <laughs> so look, it opens. That's it. It's very simple, okay? From everything I've seen, from all the videos I've watched, and look in here. So inside, there's a little piece of styrofoam. You're going to want to get that out of the way because that'll be in your way when you go to cut. And this is it. Look, it's just a blade housing. So if I open this up, there it is. The little, the little blade. It's And it's so tiny. It's literally about half the size of the other. So it's really, really cute. All right. Is cute the reason to get it? No, but I think I found some reason. So let's do the open me envelope and see what we get. So I opened up the Cricut, I plugged it into the power cord, and when I did, I heard it connect. It just made a little connection sound. This is the envelope that comes with the package. I did realize one issue I'm gonna have. You won't have this issue, but I film with my cell phone. So my phone is hanging there in front of me filming this. So I'm gonna be using my laptop today. I will in the future bring videos to you where I'm using my phone. I'll film on something else. I just wasn't prepared for that today. So here we go. Here's in the envelope, the envelope please. First, it has a let's get started book. Let's open that dude up. This is the part that I wanna encourage you guys. I know when you buy a machine, the first thing you are is intimidated to even get started. Honestly, here's what I have done. I have plugged it up. That's it, there's a little piece of fuzz. I've plugged it up. That's the hardest part. Okay, so I've plugged it into the wall and turned it on. And now I'm gonna open this envelope and see what it tells me to do. And it's super easy, ready? It says, let's get started in big letters. And then it has step one. Step one says, go to cricut.com forward slash setup. We'll walk you through every step. All right, so okay. So cricut.com forward slash setup and enter. So this is gonna take me to the setup page. So here I'm gonna choose the machine I wanna do. I'm gonna click right here and choose the Joy machine. And now you can see it's telling me to make sure I clear 10 inches of space behind the Joy. That's not very much space, that's really good, I like that. And then I'm gonna click this little arrow that'll move me across and it tells me to plug it in, which I've already done because I'm that person. And then the next page says, connect via Bluetooth. Now, oh look, if you scroll down just a little bit, let me make this bigger so you can see the whole thing without having to see his turkey tail in there. If you scroll down just a little bit, it says no joy found. Now that's okay. That just means I need to Bluetooth connect it. So what I'm gonna do is come right down here to the bottom where my toolbar is and choose my system preferences and go into Bluetooth right here and connect. Now, I don't know how to do this on a Windows computer. I haven't had a Windows computer in so long. I wouldn't know where to begin. I just know how to do this here. So here I'm gonna tell it to connect the joy and look, it's connected that quick, that's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna close this out and go back to the internet or back to this um, space. And when I go out of it, it seems to send me out and I have to go back. So I'm just gonna start over. We'll just start back over right here. I don't know why it um, does that to me because it just sends me out. So we're setting up the joy. We're gonna scroll and scroll. And look, now I can click the continue because it's connected. All right, so I'm gonna click continue. Now, machine updates. Updating the joy with the latest and greatest features. This can sometimes frustrate people because there's updates, but this is the issue. Cricut is constantly making updates based on issues that may they may run into, based on suggestions from people of things they should do. So when my machine was sent to me, it was updated, or at least the software was updated, the machine was updated, and now I need to do a little update. So I'll click that here. Oh, look, great, your joy is completely up to date. Perfect. Now I can click next. Now it says register your machine, add joy to your Cricut ID, um, not, and that is my email, so we'll leave it there. And then I agree to that, and now I can register. Now, if I wasn't signed into Cricut, I'm sure I would have had to sign in right there. Success, next. Let's do a test cut. I'm excited about this. Okay, so I'm going to pick, you know I like those big old lips, right? But I think I wanna do this flower because it's more intricate and I wanna see how the joy does. So I'm gonna go to next, and then prepare, prepare for the cut. Confirm the blade is set in place with the clamp closed, and it is, so I'm gonna arrow over. Now it says to insert the smart vinyl under the guides and up against the rollers to auto feed. Hmm, didn't realize it did that, that's cool. So the smart vinyl is smart vinyl because it's already mounted to its own mat. You don't have to mount it to a separate mat, which is really cool, because you can save these for other things. Although you can, if you have vinyl in your collection you wanna use, you can put it on here and still use it. But for the smart vinyl, it has its own built-in kind of mat. That's what the white edges are. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in under the little feeders here, under the little pieces, and see what happens. Well, that's pretty cool. It's doing its own thing. I'm not having to do anything. So it looks like it's ready to go. On my screen, it says, um, start the cut, go. We're gonna click go. 
Now, I love this about cricket. I, first, let me tell you this. I do not play with cricket every day. I play with it when we do events and things. I do a lot of events with the cricket, a lot of kit making. So, um, there, I'm kind of rusty on it, right? So where it's telling me the cut is in progress, I like that feature, how I can kind of watch that. And I remember when they brought that feature out, but I'm rusty on design space. So we're gonna be doing this together, okay? I have no idea about the Joy Projects. Don't know how to use them. I thought I would film my process for you guys. It seems to be doing a beautiful job. I, I will tell you this. One thing I like is I know this vinyl is made to work with this machine. I'm a fan of other vinyls. I'm a fan of um, Oracle vinyl, vinyl. I'm a fan of Caesar vinyl, and I use those all the time. I'm not as big of a fan of the older Cricut vinyl. I never really enjoyed that one as much, but this vinyl feels different. And one thing I really like is it is so completely stuck down to the little feeder mat because if you've ever had these mats get dirty, get lint, get kind of paper built up on them and then when you put your vinyl down you can get some skips in the cut because the mat is not perfectly clean i'm not going to have that issue with this and i think that's going to change things for me where vinyl is concerned it's going to make me want them to make this in 12 by 12 that's what's going to happen i know that i know that okay so now test cut is complete next unload look at that it says that's it now remove the cut image from the backer okay so Here's what I'm going to do. I would never waste this much vinyl. I feel kind of bad doing it, but it's a, it was a test piece. They gave it to me to try. So let's peel this off. I like the thickness of this vinyl. So I'm going to peel this away and I'll show you what we got. So here's our flower. So I'll put that there out of the way for now. And then inside, I certainly should have brought a weeding tool over with me and I will need to get one, but I can weed out those little pieces inside and this is gonna be easy to do. I'm excited about that. Now, if this was your first time using the Cricut, you will have just cut a little flower and all you had to do is weed out these little negative spaces, but I didn't bring a tool over with me. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Super easy. Now it says on the screen here, start designing. It's going to take me, I'm sure, to Design Space. It did. Now, in Design Space, you can see at the top right, it says Joy. That means my Joy machine is connected. And now we can just have fun. Now, I'm going to leave this video here. I wanted to leave it as a setup situation. I also want to say this to you. I know that the Cricut Joy has been around for a long time, and I am late to the game. But here's who I am. I am a person that likes to watch the trend before I jump on the trend and make sure it's good. That's just who I am. And this guy's an investment. He's not super cheap. He's not something that I would always want or need. But I've seen some things it can do, and I think it will really come in handy in my card making. And therefore, I thought this might be something I want to invest in. And in case you're wondering... I bought all this myself. None of this was sent to me by Cricut. I paid for all of this. Matter of fact, I bought it right after Christmas when I got in some Christmas money, and I thought that's what I want to invest in. So here you go. The first of hopefully many joy videos. I really do think this is going to come in handy if you're a card maker. Think like this, die cutting, sitting on your desk using all those SVGs. Because like my company, when I make a new stamp set, I give a free SVG with the stamp set, and this is the size of a die cutting machine. And my thought was, rather than going out of my craft room, because I don't keep my machines in my craft room, they're in another room. So rather than going out of here to my big machines and hooking all that up, et cetera, et cetera, why can't I just use this guy and do my SVG cuts? Because this is the perfect size mat to cut out my SVGs. It's just a thought. I'll have a video coming on that too. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me in this unboxing video. I'm just going to be putting these videos up as I have them. They probably won't go in my regular schedule. We'll just throw them up as I get them. So go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any. And um, until next time, bye now.